So I'll quickly look at an alternative tool we've got available to tr create profile toolpath. We saw that we converted line arc geometry just now to a to toolpath. Um, if I delete the toolpath that we created earlier on, and then using the same tool, just pick up that 20mm cutter, we'll apply a profile process to the geometry. Uh, plenty of controls, we won't look at them all here now, but um, you can specify start and end elements, so machining part of the profile rather than all of it. Um, a wall allowance, or a, a finishing amount on the profile. Um, depth of cut and so on, so lead on, lead off, um, we looked at before, we'll put the same 15mm radius lead on on this profile here. Um, depth of cut, we'll just type in 22. Um, and if we hit go to that now, we're going to get two passes because with the depth of cut 15 and final depth 22, we can um, simulate that toolpath again. So if we show cut it. Okay, so using that method you can get multiple passes, multiple passes in the XY plane and multiple depths of cut. So two ways already we've seen of getting toolpath in SmartCam, converting line arc or applying a machining process. With the process, um, they're all regenerable processes, so um, any process that you create in SmartCam, and there's uh, plenty of them, you're able at any time to recall it, modify recall and perhaps if I put a small depth of cut to illustrate this one a 5mm depth of cut regenerate the process and accept it so the regenerable processes you can pick them up anytime and change parameters and recreate the toolpath as easy as, easily as I've just done